Happy New Year, party people. Welcome to the Mac Realty Thunder Show, where you've decided to watch and listen to my real estate ramblings. And today, I'm going to be rambling about the latest update to the Strata Property Act and the removal of any rental restrictions and age restrictions, with a few exceptions. So stay tuned, and of course, please click on the subscribe button below to keep enjoying more real estate ramblings. Dean Kingsbury, McDonald Realty. So, big changes took effect in November 2022 in the Strata Condo townhouse market in BC with the provincial government amending the Strata Property Act so that rental restrictions and age restrictions are no longer allowed. A few exceptions I mentioned are twofold. So on the previously rental restricted buildings, the ban of these restrictions does not mean that short-term vacation rentals are all of a sudden allowed, so not just a free-for-all on Airbnbs. No, rentals must be a minimum of 30 days, so to fall into the Residential Tenancy Act. So we're talking sort of long-term, normal, if you will, rental um, tenancies. With respect to the ban on age restrictions, this is for all buildings with the exception of any 55-year-plus restricted building. So no more 19 plus, no more 35, no more 45 plus restrictions are allowed. And this was to done sort of as to not to prejudice people who may, you know, be in an age restricted building and, you know, want to start a family. Um, and so they're not forced out of those buildings if they were to have kids uh, and find alternate housing. And then, you know, it was also, um, while keeping that sort of 55 plus restriction was thought to preserve and promote seniors housing. And I'll sort of touch on that a little bit more again. So the background of this, the province estimates that there are around 1.5 million strata properties in BC. And it's estimated that there are, or I guess should I say there were, around 300,000 of these homes with some kind of rental limitation or restriction in place. Uh, additionally, uh, the numbers from the spec and vacancy tax claim that 2,900 strata properties were vacant. Um, I saw you know various numbers on this range from 23 to 3,000, but 2,900 seemed to be the most consistent. So, thinking behind the government's decision to change the rules was effectively to open up the ability of these 300,000 units to be rentable. Um, you know, should an owner or a future investor purchaser choose to rent it out. Um, but it was also to enable the government to close effectively what was a tax loophole that existed with those 2,900 vacant homes, uh, many of which were secondary vacation properties that were unable to be rented out when not in use by the strata bylaws, you know, thus enabling those owners to avoid paying that spec and vacancy tax while they were sitting vacant and unused. So. Fair play, BC government, but not all 300,000 rental limited property owners support this unilateral decision made on their behalf. Uh, many strata owners in the no or limited rental buildings, they chose to purchase those homes for the very you know fact that that rule of non-renting was in place. So as such, in an attempt to def in an attempt of defense to this, you know, we're seeing a bit of a knee-jerk reaction by many stratas uh, to implement a vote to amend their bylaws on that age restriction to make their buildings 55, you know, plus minimums. Um, and this is kind of an attempt to sort of limit the potential rental pool, if you will, and manage the maturity of the demographic uh, of the occupants. Now, I can understand, you know, the shock for some of these previously rental restricted stratas and also those that, you know, were pr previously age restricted, i.e. sub, you know, 55 plus, that are no longer allowed to enforce those bylaws that were in place that they were happy with. Um, however, changing the bylaws now to make your building 55 plus, maybe with the exception of, you know, a building that was 45 plus and, you know, changing it a, a, that 10 year difference, it's effectively going to be like financially counterproductive um you know in general these 55 plus age restricted buildings they trade on the open market for much less than a similarly non-age restricted unit would 
Plus the 55 year old age restriction building, it's not as favorably regarded by most lenders. So it's, it's harder to get financing. You've got a limited buyer pool and effectively it's gonna put pressure on those values. So in short, if the strata currently is not age restricted and they voted successfully to implement a 55 year plus age restriction, all the units in that strata would likely see a devaluation of their property values. Um, nobody wants that. So with respect to though, back to rentals is, you know, opening up more potential rental stock was the government's hopes and that it would lighten the pressure on rental rates because rents are so expensive. Um, mixed expect expectations on this, I would say, um, for sure. But I think that, um, it's probably gonna have little to no impact on rental rates. And the reason for this is, you know, there's not going to be a flood of units uh, in any given location to have a real impact on those vacancy rates. They're going to be more of like trickling out, if you will, a unit here, a unit there. Coupled with this with the fact that many of these previously rental restricted buildings are older and thus have like larger spaces, uh, which will be more appealing for some renters compared to some of those smaller square foot condos and homes. So you know, it's safe to say that every square foot costs money, and I don't think that that overarching rule change is going to have any impact uh, on those rental rates, unfortunately. Uh, at the end of the day, whether it's appropriate for the government to make these significant decisions on behalf of Strata's owners, um, you know, for me, the positives do outweigh the negatives. You know, we are going to free up some rental opportunities for people. We are also going to free up some more like individual owner, uh, investor opportunities. And, you know, you can't deny the fact that if, you know, you had a change of plans in life and you wanted to start a family and it keeps you in your home and don't have to move out because it's a 19 plus, I think that's very positive as well. So, Positives outweigh the negatives, but obviously everyone's entitled to their opinion, and I do certainly appreciate those that are in stratas that, you know, they purchase for the reason of it having rental restrictions or age restrictions, um, but that's the government trying to fix some problems. If you have any other questions about this, of course, Dean Kingsbury, McDonald Realty, please don't hesitate to reach out. Stay tuned for more real estate ramblings.